I today uh, failed Tiadan project. I purchased this with the idea of making a video about it and in particular a Tiadan video but no luck it is completely sealed and seems completely impossible to open. The screws are covered with some kind of hard material. I cannot uh, dig in it almost and are just completely locked in place. This one is even more locked because of a shock here at the angle and it's just uh, impossible to turn. And I have uh, a number of them all around. Same on the other cover. They are even more uh, deeply uh, covered here and uh, you can hardly guess where they are. This cover can be removed, but as you will see, no more uh, luck after you remove it. So you cannot win every day with uh, eBay items for tear downs. This one will remain in my collection and keep its secrets. So it is uh, from a uh, British uh, Royal Air Force aircraft uh, switching unit antenna, I believe for IFF antennas with a NATO number you have here, so it might be just some kind of uh, high frequency relay with uh, upper, lower and transponder uh, coax connectors here, but really it is uh, quite big for just a relay, so probably there is something else, either it is uh, actuated by something more complicated than a coil or it is electronic switching or I do not know and it will keep its secrets so before we have a look at it the uh, paperwork it was removed apparently in uh, 2003 by uh, Marshall Aerospace contractor it seems Removed by modification action is subject to test after re refit maybe. Uh, we have uh, name of a pupil who did um, do the paperwork. Clark at uh, Marshall Aerospace and uh, some Mr. Woods. And it is all. So it is a uh, quite heavy. Uh, metal box as you can see uh, six pin connector here and three coax connectors like such a very thick piece here with uh, at least uh, six or seven screws that are not possible to reach and even if I try to scrape the screws the material, whatever they did put on them, will not come off at all. It almost looks like it is some uh, metal compound. Really sub or epoxy, so very, very hard as you can see. And I will not be able to dig inside the slot of the screw. And anyways, the screw might be completely locked after this for other reasons. As you will see here, serial number 678. So there is a bottom cover also with uh, eight uh, screws all around, and I see four screws that might be uh, for something inside. As you can see, really completely. As, as I do not want to damage this so even uh, if I was okay for damaging this I guess it should be a hell of a lot of work to uh, open this thing because I did probe with this screw that is missing the cover mater material and really it will not turn it is completely locked so but what I can do it is removing the screws here 
I did already uh, remove them one time because they were super hard to undo. Now they are a little bit better, but as you can see, you, you, we have some uh, silicone sealant. And in fact, this cover will not reveal anything interesting. I was uh, expecting to see uh, some uh, contact here. But if there is a contact, it is deeper inside, and really, so I would really like to know what we have in here, and given the thickness of the metal, I do not know if even X-ray, for example, should be able to reveal anything. So, actually, uh, there is a cover here that is press fit and must. Very tight fit. And you have to undo it evenly. Because of a tight fit. And if I undo this, here is what we have. Not much to see. More metal and some uh, Teflon high frequency insulating material. I will remove some of this uh, seal material here, but you can see really no luck here. We will not be able to see anything interesting. All this unit is completely sealed, I guess it is for, uh, it is uh, located somewhere uh, in their craft at uh, a location with uh, hard conditions, as a moisture and things like this, maybe in the wings, and then it is why it is so well sealed and strong. Nice uh, metal work, as you can see, but no luck. Here, this thing will keep its secrets. Ah, oh, the uh, serial number is stamped here. Interesting. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye bye. Wait, wait, wait. I'm back. I found that it is possible to pull on these things here, these Teflon things, and reveal actually. Uh, air frequency conductors uh, this one is going uh, straight inside the box with a 90 degrees angle on the other ones here we have golden conductor with uh, again straight 90 degrees angle on here. It is like such. So interesting. Seems as these two ones are connect permanently connected. And you will switch here in the middle between this and this. Apparently. Not sure. But at least uh, what I can tell now is that everything happens in the main uh, unit. Uh, this is just a connection box to fit the connectors, it seems. Okay, so uh, now uh, bye bye again. Thanks for watching.